Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and I know I'm a video game channel, but this is about Star Wars. I actually just did a video about how whether or not Saw Gerrera will be in Obi-Wan. And hey, we're in Star Wars time. So I'm going to but I'm going to talk about actually Turf Nation. Now, you probably know who Turf Nation is if you're watching this video, but basically he does like reaction. I don't know I don't know if they're called reaction videos, but he talks about other YouTubers and other people's reactions, sometimes not YouTubers, but like how the fans react, kind of like how they react to the new Lord of the Rings trailer. Now, in one of his recent videos, he talked about the comparison of Rey to Luke because he's trying to defend Rey's character. He's trying to defend that she was written well. Now, ironically, I believe he actually kind of proves that she was kind of written poorly because the way he has to defend the character, it's almost like he has to convince himself as much as he does other people. So, I'm going to play part of his video. I'm going to stop it when I need to explain why the comparison doesn't make any sense and you guys can just give your own take. All right, here we go. But even then, these are small things. And if we're being this particular about our nitpicks for Rey, then let's do it for all of Star Wars. Now we can see how much it all can falls apart. Let's look at Luke Skywalker briefly. I think it's safe to agree that at the beginning of both Luke and Rey's journeys, when we are first introduced to them, Rey easily has more fighting skill and physical prowess than Luke does. Luke is just a simple farmer who does flies well occasionally, but he has a comfortable existence on his aunt and uncle's farm, and yet Luke is also able to do many things that on first glance he shouldn't be able to do so masterfully in A New Hope. Like, I don't know, blow up the whole Death Star using the Force. Alright, I'm gonna stop it there. Because, listen, you, you notice how he words it? He words it in a very deceitful way. He says, blow up the Death Star using the Force. Luke technically didn't do that. I mean, you could make an argument that he did, but technically he just used the Force to find out where to shoot two proton missiles or whatever they were into so that the Death Star could blow up. That's two different things. Because it's like saying, if someone blows up a tank by just throwing a grenade inside, okay, you get that because that makes sense. But if someone blows up a tank with their mind, those are two different things. The action is still the same, but one makes sense and the other doesn't. It made sense that Luke, who actually had some force training already, he had it on the Millennium Falcon with Obi-Wan Kenobi. He already had some force training on specifically how to see without using his eyes. So when he gets to the Death Star trench run, he is able to see without using his targeting computer. This is something he's already had training for and he simply uses. When he gets to the Death Star, he uses it simply to see where to aim his missile or proton bomb or whatever it is. So those two aren't comparable. There's a difference between using the Force to suddenly become a Blade Master and using the Force to find a small object so that you can aim your missile or whatever it is at it. So yeah, that's not comparable. Sorry. But please be fair when using these criticisms. Sin yes, be fair. Don't try to stretch out what Luke did just because you're trying to defend Rey. Every character she fights, she defeats. Again, just not true. She loses battles to Luke and Kylo and saying she gets little to no help from others. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there. She does not lose battles to Luke and Kylo. I'm sorry, but let me explain it in a different way. Right now we're in the NBA playoffs. If someone is about to take a three-pointer that they will make and another player's mother screams in the audience and distracts them, that does not mean that because they missed the shot that they were going to make, that they actually won the game. This is the same thing here. She did not lose to Luke because she pulled out her lightsaber and beat him. He didn't take the lightsaber. He just had the metal staff. So she did not lose to Luke, even though he probably would have beat her with, if she like had kept it fair. She still didn't lose to him. And she did not lose to Kylo Ren, even though I think it was Leia who distracted Ren when maybe he was about to beat her. It doesn't matter. You do not lose to someone just because they get distracted. That doesn't count. If I were fighting someone with a sword and I have the upper hand and then I get distracted, I don't know, by, my, by a relative or something like that, and they stab me, they didn't lose to me. I lost to them. It doesn't matter the reason. I still lost. And Ray still hasn't lost. Sorry, but nice try. Just look at the situations with Snoke and Palpatine. She even spends half of The Last Jedi getting help and training from Luke. No, she didn't. She got, as Luke said, three lessons. That's the problem. See, you can't get three lessons and suddenly be a beast. If I recall correctly, I don't think I watched the movie in a while, but if I recall correctly, she didn't even finish the three lessons. 
because once Luke saw her like go straight for the dark, he wasn't exactly into completing her training, it seems. So yeah, no, I don't count that. I'm sorry. When, when, when you only get three lessons and you don't even finish them, mm -mm. Listen, yes, I get it. Rey overcomes some pretty impossible situations, but don't act like this isn't normal for Star Wars characters. If you're gonna fix Rey for this, then fix all Star Wars characters. If Rey had done what Luke did and destroyed the Death Star- No, 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 no. I've already explained that. There's a difference. See, notice he keeps saying destroyed the Death Star. He doesn't actually say what Luke really did. Find a hole without using his targeting computer. That's basically all he did. So he's, he's comparing apples to bowling balls, not even oranges. He's comparing apples to bowling balls. Also, before you call this moment a Mary Sue moment, just remember that Luke blew up the Death Star simply because he believed in the Force as well. This moment mirrors that moment in A New Hope. I'm not trying to be arrogant or hear anything here, but there's a difference between using the Force to find out where to fire your missile with something you've done before because Luke did find out when he was training with Obi-Wan, he did figure out how to use the force to see without using his eyes. So that makes sense that when he gets to the Death Star, he's able to do that. Rey has had none of this, not in The Force Awakens, none of it. She hasn't had any even 30 second scene to show her practicing this. So it's two very different things and you're stretching them really so far just to try to defend Rey. Anyways, Rey opens up to the Force and she counters Kylo. And remember, at this point, Kylo's physically exhausted and his body is damaged. He's bleeding from his stomach and he's grown too overconfident. Rey gains the upper hand. This is not unheard of. Luke gains the upper hand against Vader, who is far better and more experienced than him, because he taps into the dark side against an old man robot. No, I'm gonna have to stop you there again, because Luke had already had saber training. There's a difference. See, if you're going to say that the Force can some suddenly make someone really better with the saber, and no, Luke in that scene, he didn't just tap into the dark side and that's why he could beat Vader. Yes, his rage probably gave him strength. But beforehand, he wasn't trying to beat Vader. He, he was actually holding his own against Vader without trying to beat him beforehand. So it's not unrealistic that when he taps into his rage, he's going to be able to beat her. Rey, on the other hand, as far as we know, has never had any saber training. I know you said something about her having training with a bow staff, but I'm pretty sure those are two different levels of training. Like how you parry with a bow staff, I'm pretty sure is not how you parry with a, like, with like a single bladed weapon. So yes, once again, those two scenes not really comparable because unlike Luke, Rey hasn't had any training with a lightsaber at this point. So anyway, that's just my take. I'm not gonna go over everything this guy said. There's some things he said that I agree with. I'm not gonna lie. But the problem is he's trying too hard to defend Ray. See, you can tell when someone is trying to basically convince themselves as much as convince the audience or something else, which I will not suggest here. But with this, no. Ray has no explanation. You see, what makes Luke's different than Ray is that the original people who did the original trilogy actually took their time to explain why Luke has certain skills, such as being able to pilot. They even have him bump into a friend at the Rebellion headquarters in Yavin, where, and, and they talk about it, even like when they're about to do the Death Star run, he says, just like Beggar's Canyon back home. So we are given insight that Luke already has certain skills. We're not given any of this for Ray. And it would have only taken a minute or two minutes or 30 seconds to explain this. Like they could have, they could have shown maybe a flashback of Ray actually combat training with some of the other refugees. They could have shown Ray maybe dealing with a single bladed weapon and then choosing to do with a double bladed weapon. They could have done so much to explain this and they didn't. I'm sorry, but this defense of Ray just comes off as stretching it. When you compare her to Luke and you try to make it seem like Luke's thing were just as crazy. No, not even close as I've explained already. So I'm not dissing Turf Nation, but here I just think he really likes Ray to the point where he's trying to defend her and he has to stretch certain things and leave certain things out of Luke's story to basically look like the things they did were the same. Not really. But what do you guys think about this? I'll leave his videos in the description. You guys can tell me whether I'm being fair or not, and you guys can give me your own opinion on how Ray compares to Luke. Thanks for watching, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.